These are the 8 streamers who ruined their career in seconds. And we're gonna start with Alinity. You must have known about the Twitch Thoughts streamer Alinity. Known for her controversial content, she faced a second ban from the platform, sparking a flurry of reactions on social media. The ban stemmed from her violation of Twitch's guidelines, specifically regarding suggestive and sexual content. This isn't Alinity's first run-in with Twitch's rules. In 2020, she received a ban for a wardrobe mal function during a stream, which she requested to extend to three days. Despite the controversies, Alinity maintains a substantial following on Twitch, with over 1.4 million followers. Alinity took to Twitter to announce her second ban, which also lasted three days. Due to her twerking on stream, she shared a clip of the dance, calling for transparency. In a subsequent tweet, she criticized Twitch's handling of sexual content, arguing that the punishment was disproportionate compared to her previous ban. The response to Alinity's ban was mixed. While some Twitter users brought up past controversies such as the infamous cat throwing incident, many supported her this time. They agreed that the dance might have violated Twitch's rules but felt that a three day ban was excessive. Some even deemed the dance as tame and not deserving of a ban. Another streamer, Mo, also known as Yasuo, once soared to the heights of Twitch stardom, charming viewers with his humor and Yasuo one trick skills. His rise from 2015 to 2018 was meteoric. And entertaining fans with his quirky personality and embarrassing tales. Fans loved his banter with fellow streamers like Tyler1 and his epic 1 vs 5 Yasuo montages. However, as time went on, Mo's passion for League of Legends began to fade. His move to LA in 2020 marked a turning point as he got caught up in influencer drama and started to focus less on League and more on other games like Valorant and Apex Legends. Mo's decline was further fueled by his foray into online gambling, which alienated many of his loyal fans who were there for the league content. His gambling took over his channels, leading to stagnation and a loss of viewership. The final nail in the coffin was the permanent banning of his YouTube channels, which erased years of beloved league content. The highs and lows of streaming careers are not exclusive to Mo. 3. Professor Akali Everyone's once favorite Professor Akali's rise to fame in the League of Legends community was meteoric. But his fall from grace was equally swift and steep. Once known for his informative videos and high-level gameplay, he quickly shifted to low-quality clickbait content, much to the dismay of his fans. His descent into four fun clickbait began in 2017, marked by his infamous Challenger vs. 5 Bronze Players video, which garnered millions of views and set the tone for his future content. While these videos brought in views, they also eroded his reputation as a skilled player and content creator. Professor Akali's reliance on smurfing and using botted accounts to reach low elos for content sparked outrage in the community, with many accusing him of ruining the game experience for others. His clickbait tactics extended to fake champion reveals and staged gameplay, further alienating his audience. In 2020, he faced backlash for promoting online gambling and falsely claiming to have hacked the game. His credibility took another hit when he engaged in a public feud with LS, a popular League influencer, revealing murky details about each other's past actions. This drama further tarnished his image and left many fans disillusioned. Despite his efforts to redeem himself in 2022 by returning to high LO gameplay and seeking coaching from an LCK team, the community's trust in him had already been shattered. Nobody ever thought that somebody similar can happen to LO Santa, a famous League of Legends esports player. He faced a significant downfall starting in 2022 due to his behavior. His reputation reputation worsened over time, with some branding him as evil or a pathological liar. His downfall began with his Tinder interactions, where his ego inflated due to numerous matches. A particular clash session highlighted his attitude, leading to the start of a long-standing feud with Dantes. This drama, including posting Dantes' girlfriend's mugshot on Twitter, marked the early stages of Elo Santa's downfall, earning him the nickname Ego Santa. His TwitchCon confrontation with Dantes further fueled drama, showcasing his his ego-driven actions and lack of empathy. Elo Santa mocked Dantes' personal struggles and relationship issues, displaying a callous attitude. He also falsely accused others of wrongdoing, showing a disregard for evidence and the impact of his actions. Despite
despite facing backlash, Ilo Santo failed to take her responsibility, offering insincere apologies and justifications for his behavior. His actions demonstrated an inability to grow and mature as he continued to seek attention and perpetuate drama. In contrast, Dante's focused on creating content rather than engaging in hate, finding success despite Ilo Santo's attempts to bring him down. 6. Zillion OP The Twitch streamer Zillion OP has also faced a dramatic downfall after suspicions arose about his disability status. Initially, gaining fame for his personality and gaming skills as a wheelchair streamer, Zillion became a Twitch partner with a sizable audience, driven partly by sympathy for his circumstances. However, in April 2013, when, during a stream, Zillion was caught on camera standing up and walking, contradicting his wheelchair-bound persona, his girlfriend's panic reaction, and Zillion's attempts to downplay the incident only fueled suspicions. Following this expose, Twitch permanently banned Zillion for fraud. Despite disappearing from the streaming scene for years, Zillion attempted to come back in 2020 under the alias It's Bluish. He claimed that he had been wheelchair-bound due to a car accident but had recovered over time, failing to update his audience on his changing status. While expressing remorse for his actions, Twitch still banned his It's Bluish account for ban evasion, though they appeared to be reconsidering and banning his original account. 7. Phase Jarvis If you're a gaming lover, you must have known the kiddo Phase, the once a rising star in the Fortnite and content creation world, has had a tumultuous journey filled with highs and lows, controversy, and redemption attempts. Starting his YouTube career at just 12 years old, Jarvis quickly rose to fame, joining Phase Clan and becoming a prominent figure in the Fortnite community. However, his career took a hit when he was caught aimbotting in Fortnite, resulting in a lifetime ban from Epic Games and a suspension from Phase Clan. Things took a darker turn when Jarvis became involved in the Save the Kids token scam, a crypto scam that exploited his large following for financial gain. While Jarvis may have been unaware of the scam's true nature, his involvement led to further scrutiny and accusations of being one of YouTube's biggest content thieves. Despite these controversies, Jarvis has shown remorse for his actions and has attempted to rebuild his reputation. He has shifted his content to focus on challenges and pranks. 8. MM Dust Last but not the least, we have MM Dust. At first, MM Dust was known for his wit, gold demeanor, and unique perspective, which attracted a dedicated following. However, he made a critical mistake by expressing a desire for viewers not to have a relationship with him, indicating a sense of superiority and a lack of interest in connecting with his audience on a personal level. Well, part of the thing for me is is I specifically don't want my viewers to have any kind of relationship with me. Fair. So like that's like it kind of works out, right? Yeah. I'm kind of like I'm hitting my goal. But, um, <laughs> this attitude alienated many of his fans who sought a more relatable and engaging streamer. MM Dust's refusal to acknowledge his viewers' desire for connection ultimately led to a decline in viewership and support. Additionally, his comments about considering himself above the average person further damaged his reputation, portraying him as arrogant and out of touch. Besides, his refusal to engage with criticism or address the concerns of his audience only exacerbated the situation. Instead of using his platform to build a positive relationship with his viewers, he became increasingly isolated and disconnected, leading to a loss of trust and credibility.